Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kid here back with more Monarch. In the previous video, we finished up Kokoro's side, and now we're going to start Shinya's, which Shinya, unfortunately, is going to get the short end of the stick here. Um, He's the one that's going to get the same treatment as as um part one of um Rintaro, in that we're only going to see the cutscenes and everything, everything that's new. Uh, no battles or anything, which is totally fine because they're very repetitive. So, yeah. What up, Shinya? I know we've already seen both this scene and his scenes of us befriending him, but still, what's up? Also, did I pick up that book that's right there? I feel like I've noticed that beforehand. <sighs> um, oh, I'll, I'll show you some other stuff I did. Uh, off screen, I put everyone to level 85, save for Lust and okay. Pride. They're the only ones I didn't Thank put on. God. Uh, I didn't even increase their levels at all because I didn't want them to be too powerful. Sorry for worrying you. For my strats. It's fine. And when I when Shina safe. joins, he'll get to la level 85. Um, if you have a moment, can we talk? Just the two of us? Sora's not in our office right now. We can go in there. I have something I want to ask you. Please? I won't take long. I appreciate it. After you. Thanks for letting me have some of your time. It's a little hard to talk about this in front of the others. Um, I have a favor to ask. I want you to stop fighting. Huh? You've been pushing yourself too hard. I don't want to see you get hurt again. It's not like you wanted to be a pact bearer. You just got swept up in the anomalies. I'll take care of things from here on. So please, break your pact. Leave this all behind. You've done enough already. Where's all this coming from? Nothing's been going right since all of this started. I've been doing some reflection. If only I'd taken down the Pact Bears faster. If only I weren't so weak. If only I defeated them all without a second thought. Then Chio wouldn't have had to die. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I know I can't be forgiven, and I know apologies won't solve anything. But I still have my responsibilities as a Jingu to fulfill. You shouldn't have to fight anymore. I want you to rest, to live in peace without any more pain. So let me know if you decide to break your pact. I'll put in a good word with Sora for you. I'll be honest, I can't remember what the options were for his he, thing. He doesn't wish for you to fight. Because it's his role. Because it's his right. It seems he's decided, with firm resignation, to torment his ego with self-flagellation. Well... It's clear that he wishes to fight on his own, to showcase how much he can handle alone. And yet, if you wish to be entangled in Shinya's fate, to know him and stand together with him, then find your determination, bring your ego to bear. The road of fate thins like a waning tide, there won't be much room to walk by your side.
Yeah, okay. Let's do this, weirdo. Again, I can't remember this shit. I knew you'd come through. You're going to break your pact, right? Just leave everything else to me. I'm not going to give up my pack. Huh? Why not? Because I still need it. Because I need it. I remember this one. <sighs> I'm going to be the one defeating the pact bearers. What do you need your power for? Is it because you can't trust me? Or... Is it because of your wish, like all the other Pact Bearers? This isn't your problem alone? Huh? This is my problem. All of it. If I were more capable, if I defeated the Pact Bearers earlier, Maybe Chio wouldn't have died. Maybe you wouldn't have had to become a Pact Bearer to begin with. It's all my fault. You're just a victim. Please, leave the rest to me. I can handle it. You're being self-centered. Self-centered? Me? Some things are out of your control. Hells yeah, we got it all in one go. Out of my control? We are the so ones falling saying, out of control. I'll never be good enough. No matter how hard I try. <laughs> it's just like I thought. You think I'm a failure too. That I'm hopeless. That I can't accomplish anything. That counting on me is just a waste of time. No. Um. um. <sighs> I'm sorry for being so worthless, I mean. But even if I am, I don't want you to get hurt anymore. So please, tell me. Tell me. What do I have to do? How can I get you to trust me on this? Intertwine your fate with Shinya's? Yeah. Let's see how fucked up this path is gonna be. Don't try to tackle all of this yourself. My problems are my own. I'm the one who should handle them. I'm actually quite curious. Like I, I said this before, like this, else. his first part is going to be, uh, it's not your problem alone. His first part is going to take on Rintaro. We know that already uh, that again. when we did this the first time. Whose problem is it? And then, then the second part is probably us going to go after Yoru like we did with Hinata. So the non-pack bears will go after Yoru and the oh. pack bears went after Sora. So we'll be able then to protect case, Jingu when the, if no when shit hits the blame, fan. Then what should I have done? How could I have protected Chio? How could I have kept you from getting hurt? How could we have avoided all of this pain? There's nothing you could have done. Some things are just beyond what? control. There's nothing anyone could have done. It's just the whims of fate. That's just too cruel. Yep. That kind of thinking helps nobody. It's irrational. It isn't just. <sighs> I hate those words. Unfair. 
Unjust? Irrational? To hell with all of them! I don't want to tell myself that there's nothing we could have done. I don't want to believe that we're all just at the mercy of fate. I'm sick of making these excuses. Life is unfair. <laughs> hey. If you can say that Chio's death wasn't fair, that no one could have done anything about it, then why bother fighting? Why don't you just brush it off and give up entirely? <laughs> if it really is unfair, if you really can't do anything about it, what else can you possibly do but give up? There's no logic to that. You're not making any sense. Then what is? My ego. Your ego? Egos are just ugly, self-serving things. Using them to justify yourself is wrong. What? I don't want this injustice to stand. I want to fight back. I can't let you face this danger alone. My ego is a part of who I am. Give up. Logic can't make sense of the irrational. Once you accept that, you have to give up. <sighs> At least, that's how I used to think. But if the way you live doesn't need to make sense, then there's no reason to give up. I used to have problems with the concept of egos, and the selfish people who are so proud of theirs. But I don't dislike your ego, and I don't dislike you as a person either. On the contrary, I like you. I respect you a lot. If you say that your ego is part of who you are, then I want to respect that too. Your ego is too pure to resent anyone over something irrational. It's too strong to give up just because something's out of your control. And it's too kind to let me face these dangers alone. <laughs> I'd feel a lot better if you were by my side. And it makes me happy that you care about me so much. If there's an ego out there I'm willing to accept, it's yours. There we are. <laughs> the fruitless facade and the fragile failure. Frail attracts frail, it seems. Vanitas. You seek to thwart tragedy from transpiring twice, hmm? A noble desire, as far as they go. But how will you venture to make it so? The cause of Chio's death was a call from the other world. And the reason a call came in without any mist is because the distortions have gotten too severe. Bear in mind the distortions cannot be reversed. The barrier must lift so they can be dispersed. But getting rid of the barrier as is would just release the pact bearers and their authorities into the world. We need to remove the threats first. Kokoro and that maggot breath bastard need to and give up their maggot. powers. And so do you. So, when all is said since and this done, is the one where we're going to leave Kokoro B, 
being. She's just gonna stay in the other world then, right? You'd willingly give up the power you've got? You're more deranged than I initially thought. Yeah, we'll see about that. But so be it. I mean, probably this won't happen. This is the path that you chose. Where it leads, nobody knows. Well, well. Well, well. If it isn't bitch face McGillicuddy, bitch. It's been some time. Bitch. What happened to Miss Aikawa was truly unfortunate. Bug off. Dr. Shiraneko told me you regained consciousness. I wanted to have a word with you. It would be rude of me to ask that of you so suddenly, though. Please come and see me when you have the time. Act two, Shinya Yuda, Black Bearer of Fate. Black Bearer of Fate. Faith, not fate. All right, let's level the level you up because boy, how do you are probably weak as fuck. 31, oh my God. Let's at least make sure he has all of his abilities. see his enlightened skill in like maybe the first fight or something i'll show you that one at least like i'll show like oh here's his enlightened skill because that's the only one we haven't seen out of everyone's did we see his oh this is his... execute a charging halberd strike upon all enemies within range oh that's actually a pretty interesting one I mean, we must have saw his... Did we see his enlightened one? Or not his enlightened one, his awakened one? On screen, I honestly don't remember if we did. Getting basically everyone to, like, level 85, and then it's like... It's gonna be trying to get everyone to level. I wonder if it is it level 99 or level 100. I wonder. That is the max level. It's probably 100. Actually, didn't I count that already in like one of the parts where I was like, oh, but that, but that, but that. I was like, oh yeah, that's 100. Everything's at least at level two now. There we go. Everyone but these two are at 85. Oh, and there's all there's slops in all its glory. Okay, what's your You said that you didn't want me to face danger all alone, right? Thanks for that. But I'd hate for you to put yourself at risk for my sake. 
Uh -huh. I don't want you to be hurt any more than you've already been. That's <laughs> just the way my ego is, I guess. Alrighty. Let's hear what bitch face has to say. Probably gonna tell us what about Kokoro. Huh. I was going to begin by explaining the tragedy that befell Miss Aikawa. However, <laughs> It would seem you are already aware. That being the case, I believe you understand. Should we wish to avoid further tragedy, we cannot afford to overlook any pact bearer or authority that may pose a threat. I've already heard from Shinya. Seems you're birds of a feather. I'm glad you'll continue to flock together with us. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Shinya, I would like you two to seek out Mr. Date. And in the process, shatter his ideals. Is there any other way to do this without fighting? I've asked many times, but Mr. Date shows no intention of giving up his authority. That maggot breath bastard. Just what is he thinking? One that he was understanding Shinya. Language. Surugadai. Did Kokoro give up her authority? In a manner of speaking. There's no need to worry about her anymore. <sighs> That's good. I'm not even going to ask a question. It's most agreeable that she chose the path of safety and security. Now then, I apologize for. Well, you don't even go. You're not even going into detail about it, okay, right bitch? Away. We'd like to prevent more tragedies like Miss Aikawa's from occurring, so time is of the essence. Even after all the awful things that happened. He's pressing on like it's business as usual, ego and all. I can't forgive him for that. Let's go knock that idiot down a peg. I mean, okay, sure. Whatever, dude. He's whatever. I talked to anyone else? Nope. Okay, let's head on over to the archives. Which I can't pass. Damn it. All right, I'll see you when a cutscene happens. Big. That maggot breath's mist should be around here somewhere. I tried looking for him on my own a while back. But I couldn't find him no matter where I searched, including here. I have no idea where he could be skulking. But he should show up if we start shattering his ideals. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Damn it. Everything from the second floor up is filled with mist. Okay, so I'm going to open up that safe there and then I'll do that fight. And if I get to around. his enlightenment, we'll show it. Why's that? Apparently, the maggot breath himself was scaring the students away. All right. All right, let's go open up that safe that's up here. I can't remember 
where it is exactly, but actually, let me look at all the shit. Oh, did it? Ah, ha, ha, we got it right away. Fuck you. Um, what was the library? I, okay, so I'm missing seven from this thing. I got all of that stuff. Got all of that. Missing four songs from this. Credits. And probably like two battles. And I have no idea what the other one is. The other archives was completed. Nineteen seventy. Hunting ground SSR. Okay. And I'll see you guys uh, in cutscenes. Here's his awakened oh, skill, just in case we didn't show it. I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't remember if we did or not. Give up yet? Pretty cool. Alright. First ideal. There's his ideal. A gaudy crystal with a strong dose of narcissism. Much like him. Let's just get this over with and shatter it. Took a couple of tries, but we got it. We got it. isn't enough be it power knowledge or anything else i need to get stronger but i don't have enough the weak are meat and the strong do eat there are only those who take and those who get taken from i can't let anything else get taken from me i have to protect everything that makes me who i am this time i have to be on the side that takes so I can get back everything taken from me. I'll leave my weaknesses behind. Even if it means stealing everything from those who steal from me. Past, present, and future. I'll get stronger. I'll prove the worth of the life my mom loved. I'll reclaim the dreams and the pride my gramps passed down to me. I can't afford to give up. Worth, dreams, and pride. That's why he wants more power, even if it means stealing it from other people. Fits him to tea. I agree. It's an insatiable ego, just like its owner. It's selfish through and through, but... Almost stupidly sincere, too. Mm. Still, if that's the case, if he truly doesn't want anything else stolen from him, and he wants to reclaim what was, then resisting us is the opposite of what he should do. That idiot. I just don't get <sighs> what he's thinking. Alrighty, what's the... What do you want? You wanna give me your life story now? I have to admit, I'm a little curious. How do you feel about that maggot-breath bastard? 
You're going to be fighting him pretty soon. Do you hate him? I don't. Glad they only gave me one answer for that. Right. Of course you don't. You did say you didn't blame anyone for what happened. But he's not going to give up his power. He's a selfish jerk who doesn't think about all the trouble he's causing everyone else. Doesn't that make you hate him even a little? I don't hate him. How can you fight him if you don't hate him? He's our enemy, you know? We don't need to hate you don't need to hate your enemies. That doesn't make any sense. You're supposed to hate your enemies, treasure your friends, and love your family. Isn't that the way it goes? Isn't that normal? It doesn't matter. Wow, we're very then, apathetic in this one, aren't we? Loving your enemies, hurting your friends, and hating your family. That's allowed? That's a little unreasonable, don't you think? It doesn't make any logical sense. Logic has nothing to do with it. Right. You're the kind of person who follows his ego. Do you hate Rentaro, Shinya? Well, I don't like him. The way he thinks is selfish, and he always says things that rub people the wrong way. He irritates me in more ways than one. Even now, he refuses to give up his authority. There's no excuse for that. He clings to power to save his own skin. I can't stand it. I'll take his power away, even if I have to shatter his ideals and fight him for it. But... I don't think this is the same as hating him. I... That idiot. That stupid jerk. Even though he's a pact bearer, we have to defeat. I just can't bring myself to hate him. I feel guilty about it. Like what we're doing is wrong. He's our enemy. We shouldn't go easy on him. Or get along with him. That isn't true. You don't hate anybody, huh? Not even your enemies. You've got a pretty open mind. Maybe yours is just too narrow, bitch. <laughs> Maybe things would be easier if I were a bit more accepting. Like you. <laughs> but I don't think I'm quite there yet. Anyway. We should head for the next ideal. It's going to be a little hard to fight that maggot breath, since I don't actually hate him. I mean, not really. Still, he definitely annoys me at the very least. I'm looking forward to smacking that stupid smirk off his face. <laughs> You said that you didn't want me to face danger all alone, right? Alright, we've already done that. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get one more thing here. The question is... Actually, I think I... Yeah. The only things I'm missing, I believe, are the fertile grounds now in terms of places to get more phone numbers. Everything else, I have no idea where we're going to get them. 
Maybe when we go down the true path. All right, I'll see you guys when we get to... Uh, I'll see you guys when we get to new stuff. Right, I forgot. There's a thing to open. A safe. From the storage room. But, or did I already open up this safe? I can't remember. No, I did not. The year the old dormitory was complete. That was 19... 70 something, right? Or not, uh, 42. Okay, nope, I was gonna say 60. Well, there's Furl Ground 6. I'm gonna say this about the archives. It's so much easier to go through it the second time around Rocket than it was the first bastard. time. Or the, than the library. Because the library is always like, oh, it's like. A little he hard, to, not really hard to find, but like, eh. Not that I expected him to be. It was also bigger, the library was, so of course it took a little bit longer, but going through the archives uh, the second time is a, so much easier. So much easier. If demons like you didn't exist, it never would have come to this. No maggots, though. You don't irritate me at all. The only thing I feel for you is hate. Come on, let's deal with these things already. Yeah, these things you can hate. It's the actual people you shouldn't hate. Well, yeah. See you guys after the bell. And that one was like that. It's a snap. Bam, bam. Bob's photo, Bob's photo. It's a snap. Bam, bam. I'm as weak and pathetic as I ever was. I can't protect a single thing I care about. That's why I have to get stronger. Strong enough that no one can ever steal from me again. Strong enough to take my dreams back and my pride along with it. The world thrives on the law of the jungle. It's cruel and uncaring, but that's the way it goes. I can't stand the thought of being taken advantage of by those who look down on me. I hate the idea of being scorned, of growing old, unaccomplished and unfulfilled. I don't want to live a meaningless life. I don't want to die a meaningless death. I'll make my mark and prove my worth. I'll prove that everything that makes up Rio Taro Date has meaning and value. The things that I love, the things that I loved, the people who loved me. I may be weak now, but I won't be weak forever. Yep. I'm surprised that he considers himself weak. Was his attitude just a front all this time? <sighs> Don't tell me he was forcing himself. How lame can you be? Wishing for more power so he can prove his worth is exactly what I'd expect of him. What an ego on that guy. Even mm -hmm. his thoughts are annoying. I know what it's like to want to be stronger. But that's where our similarities end. He still believes in himself, whereas I've given up. <laughs> the people he cherished were stolen from him. The ones I cherished tossed me aside. We're so obviously different. And he really does irritate me. And yet, somehow, <laughs> wah, wah. Man, these fights are actually going a lot faster. Um, that's probably because 
like all the enemies are I think the highest is like 60 something. So um it's not terribly too you bad. You said that you so. didn't want me to <sighs> So it's not terribly too bad in terms of Shinya. Oh. Hey. Sorry. In terms of like how fast this is going. Plus we're all at a higher level say for those two, so What about that maggot breath bastard? Just the thought of him pisses me off. But at the same time, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. It's embarrassing anyway. The good news is I don't think anything new pops up until... Um... Um, yeah, I think I saw one that had revived 257. Yeah, that's a better one. And optimize arts. And I'd still get rid of that one. So, good news is I think the only new stuff will come up after the fight. So, all right, I will see you guys when we uh, get there. Alrighty. You know, there's something that we didn't do. Uh, I'm actually quite curious if we can go back into that area that we were just in when we beat him. I'll probably go check that out. What's up? I'll check it out after this way. Hey. I've been expecting you, Mr. VP. Can't say the same for you, though. <sighs> what, the Dean ain't coming? There's no need for Sora to bother. We are more than enough to handle you. Oh, yeah? You sure seem confident about that. Mr. VP backing you up's making you feel real brave, huh? Yes. <sighs> You've changed. It's no fun messing with you anymore. Well, you haven't changed at all. Why won't you give up your power? Oh. You know what's happening with the distortions. Why are you putting the Academy in even more danger? Shouldn't I'm going to try my damnedest to get to see Shinya's, it's um... It's her authority that's cutting us off from the outside world. She's um, the one bottling the distortions up in here. Enlightened move. She did it to protect the rest of the world from them. Yeah, but she's a pack bearer too. Isn't she one of the reasons why they even exist in the first place? Yes, kind of. Without her power, the damage would be so much worse. She's only doing it to protect the Academy and the world from the Pact Bearers. From the Pact Bearers, right. What, you think I plan on destroying the world or something? Not for now, at least. It's also the mist for that's now, like the huh? issue. It's not for much like if the power. It's like when you use can't it. Can you say the same thing about the dean? <sighs> Grinds my gears that you're acting like she's the one exception. Yeah, no, I'll be honest. That's the one flaw. Like I that's one of the main flaws don't I like don't like about Jinya. But why are you so fixated on keeping your powers? You're seriously asking me that after all this? You should already know by now. You've been running around, shattering my ideals. Yep. My reasons aren't anything special. I just want to get stronger. 
I want to kick my old man, my big bro, and their money-grubbing buddies down a notch. Those guys piss the hell out of me. I do what I want, how I want, and no one's gonna stop me from accomplishing my goals. That's all there is to it. If I don't do it, nobody will. I won't give in. Not as long as my name is Rio Taro Date. That's my ego, and I ain't changing it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Still. I don't understand why someone as confident as you wants an authority. Why can't you realize you don't need one? Huh? Sure, someone gave me this power, but it's still mine. What's wrong with me using it? Besides, if my ideals shatter, my soul does too. Same goes for this wish. The stuff I live my life by. Even if that's true, don't you feel guilty about using it? It'll make the distortions worse. What happened to Chio wouldn't be a one-time occurrence. Nope. That's not my problem to deal with. The fact that you're here trying to stop me right now is proof of that. <sighs> I'll admit. Your reasoning checks out. You mean... Nope. I'm still not gonna give in. If we can't see eye to eye, we gotta see whose convictions are stronger. Through a fight. <laughs> Don't come crying to me after we wipe the floor with you. <laughs> if that's how it ends up, then my convictions were too weak. I don't have a problem with that. Do you? <sighs> Earlier, I said you hadn't changed at all. But I take it back. You have changed. You're weaker now. What? Where's your confidence? Your will to fight? The way you're talking. I was about to it say, yeah, he's like a bit different than how like he was. You want to lose Even to when us. we were with Kokoro, he's like a little you want bit different. Us to stop you. Well, then again, he also kind of like was that in a way too. It's like, oh, he wants us to beat him. You gotta be shitting me. Like Kokoro thought that too. I'd never lose. Not to you. Not to the dean. And sure as hell not to whatever jacked up system this world runs on. Gotta respect that. I can't afford to. I'm the only one who can protect what matters most to me. My ego is mine alone. And I'm not gonna stand for anyone getting their hands on my stuff. I can understand that. Gula. We're gonna be the ones doing the taking. Right, Gula? I'll have to say Gula is probably one of my favorite designs. Enough with the chit chat. Let's end this. Here and now. Alright, see you guys after the fight or uh, when I get Shinya's light move. All right, here's a uh, Shinya's move. Rest in pieces. And we saw them all. Yay! That was not a pretty one. That end result was not a pretty one, but I got it. So, yay! Looks like I lost. Your selfishness. Your unfound confidence. Your devil-may-care attitude. 
You irritate me in more ways than I can count. <clears throat> I want to get stronger too. We're the same in that respect. But the people you loved most were taken from you, while I was thrown away by the people I loved. You believed in yourself, while I gave up on myself. You're almost nothing alike. Your ego is strong and optimistic. I always envied you for it. But looking at you right now, there's nothing to be jealous of anymore. It's like you're suffocating. All I see from you is suffering. <clears throat> You feel guilty, don't you? About what happened to Chio. You can't admit it, but you can't lie to yourself either. So that's what you think, huh? <laughs> Makes me sound pathetic. Even if I admitted it, nothing would change. Sometimes, what gets taken from you is gone for good. The dead... stay dead. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Forgiveness? Atonement? I don't deserve any of it. Not after what I've done. So that's what you think, huh? It's not like you to give up so easily. <laughs> yeah, it sure isn't. So, while I'm being out of character, if you're so jealous, why don't you try being more honest with yourself? You're the closest friend you've got. You gotta learn to love yourself. <laughs> you might be a shit-eating little roach, but that doesn't make you worthless. Aww. Dubrovnik, Chesky Krumlov, Santa Fe, Hoi An, oh, yeah. Li Jiang. Vibrant, brilliant cities filled with beauty beyond compare. I flew around the world, basking in their indescribable majesty. As my heart was stolen time and time again, I thought I finally understood the words Gramps said to me. Grow stronger so you can protect what matters most to you. Leave a monument of your existence, so you can steal people's hearts, not their lives. An earthquake hit, and Mom died. She was crushed by a collapsing building. Her life was stolen before my very eyes. I admired that which stole the hearts of others. I wanted to leave my mark on the world. The building wasn't strong enough, and neither was I. Even now, my wounds are still fresh. The grief of having something stolen from me. The awe of it being taken to begin with. I hate feeling powerless. I don't want anything to be taken from me any longer. So I swore that I'd grow stronger. He wanted to leave behind something so grand it'd steal people's hearts? <sighs> Unbelievable. What an ego on that guy. It's so bright and garish. I'm almost jealous.
All right. We're going to see if we can actually go into this room. I'm going to assume not, because for whatever reason, they don't let us go into places that much often. Thanks for bringing Rio Taro all the way over here, you two. Just when Kurama and the others get better, a new one comes rolling in. Yeah, I brought him, him in. Whoopsie. Don't worry too much. I don't know what's ailing him, but if it's the same as the others, all he needs is a little rest. He might suffer a bit of memory loss, though. Thanks, Dr. Nako. But knowing this guy... He'll be himself again eventually, even if he does lose some of his memories. He's yeah. not the kind of person who would go out with a whimper. <laughs> you like Ryotaro a lot more than you want to admit, don't you? <laughs> not on your life. B -b 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 now that I think about it, where's Kokoro? Is she not here? Kokoro? I haven't seen her. I see. Oh, yeah, because I didn't know. Oh, right. Miss Sora was looking for you two. She said there was something she wanted to discuss with you in her office. Hooray. <laughs> well, we did that. I'll follow your legacy. Okay, you go do that, buddy. Alrighty. So. Okay, so every ability for every unit, which I still find weird. I haven't unlocked one unit's every ability. Unless they mean get him level 99 or 100, whatever it is. I I can't believe I haven't gotten this one yet either. But story, story, story. So that's 40, 41, 42. 43, 44. 45 and 46. That's probably a story thing too. Um Let's see if um we can go into that area again without the fog. Even though it don't matter. I mean, hey, just out of pure curiosity. Just like, oh, can we go in here? Also, be like, oh, you have no reason to go up in here anymore. Be like, oh, you have no reason to go into this floor. I think they'll probably be. Oh nope. Well, I can definitely say it's like you have no reason to go in here type thing like they do with the uh, um just want to make sure there's like no other saves I don't think so I think the only safes that there were were those two here I think I'm missing I'm missing either one or two saves safes in for the basement areas even though I had the cheats, I was like, nah, I can find them out regularly. I'm trying sure to come back to these places, and lo and behold, I've been coming back to those places. All right, guys. That looks like that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Monarch. In the next part, guys, we will be heading into the second half of this. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a Ms. click was just and here. comment down below I wonder what, you wanted. what you like about the video and like about the video. Let me know what you guys think of Shinya's thing. It's very interesting. Um, You know what's so weird? Nozomi is not involved in any of these, no matter what. Shinya makes sense because, well, because Shinya is Dean Sora's son, so he's always going to be involved. And obviously the other two are going to be involved because of their pack bears as well. So it's like the only way that the, like both Kokoro and Rentaro would show up in the hospital is if you do Nizomi's side, which as far as I can tell has so far been the best one. Cause it's like, there's been no one dead 
yet. So, or absorbed by people or disappeared, whatever happened in the, when we did as Rentaro, where basically everyone disappeared, save for us too. So, but yeah, let me know how you guys feel about um, Shinya's side so far. So yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat and subscribe to the main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as find me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you all next time.